Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this update to our Santa Ana wins. This is update number two for this particular series of Santa Ana wins uh, between October 22nd and 26th. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. This is up front what we're going to talk about. Um, another hot day and offshore flow. We're going to talk about um, an extended period of Santa Ana winds continuing. That's offshore flow and very dry conditions. We're going to see a little bit of cooling on Wednesday. Not a lot, uh, but some higher humidity and cooling on the coast on Wednesday. But then we go right back into Santa Ana winds on Thursday. And they look to peak out Friday morning. So that'll be the strongest. This looks to be a moderate uh, type of event. So our most wind prone areas along the Cajon Pass of I-15 and even near the I-8 Pass, we could get some gusts uh, 55, 65 miles per hour. Uh, warm and dry conditions continue the weekend with a slow increase to onshore flow and humidity. Uh, another round uh, is possible of Santa Ana winds late in October. So we're not going to talk more about that, um, but we'll update you as it gets closer. How warm was it on Monday? Widespread mid to upper 90s. Widespread mid to upper 90s. Um, and that includes the I-5 and I-15 corridor. Where is this map created? Right off of our webpage, weather.gov San Diego. Uh, what about the winds in the past 24 hours? We've lost a lot of the wind, um, but it does continue to blow. Um, we're still seeing some healthy wind gusts in San Diego County, as shown here. The winds are weakening, but, but blowing still through the Cajon Pass uh, north of Ontario and in some of the Santa Ana Mountains. Where can you find this? Right on our webpage, weather.gov San Diego. Some common questions and answers about Santa Ana's, what are they, are all defined here. Um, and what is worse, a fire weather watch or red flag warning? Well, the red flag warning is worse, um, and this current round of Santa Ana number two for Thursday and Friday, we expect to go into those red flag warning conditions. I also have a little clip at the bottom here for what the wind prone areas are. Here's the heat advisory that was issued for today. Uh, let's call it a Santa Ana wind heat advisory because it's for the coastal areas west and along the 15. Those areas are shaded and um, looks like temperatures as hot as what we saw on Monday. So in some cases it's a dangerous heat when you get in the upper 90s, especially this time of year. What kind of temperatures on Tuesday? Well, they're shown here, uh, widespread 90s and upper 90s to near 100 in the hottest spots. The fire danger. Okay, so this is more for our Thursday, Friday Santa Ana wind, and that's when we have the fire weather watch out in effect for Thursday and Friday. And it's really for all areas except for the inland deserts and the immediate coast of Orange and San Diego. So that's the area we expect to see the red flag warning uh, or the upgrade to the red flag warning. What's causing all this? Well, currently we have a very warm dome of high pressure. That's what's tapping into the heat, giving us the temperatures well in the 90s. But what's preventing the onshore flow in the sea breeze with all that heat over us? Well, that's the offshore flow. That's on the right-hand side. That's the Santa Ana wind. That's the cold air blowing from high pressure to low pressure across the Great Basin. And we feel the brunt of that down here in San Diego. Are we going to repeat that pattern? Well, we certainly are. On Thursday, Friday, it looks like uh, conditions set up again. And I think it's going to be even stronger. Uh, the upper level high pressure is right over us, so we tap into some really warm air. But also, take a look at the high pressure. It's even stronger. So those black lines, the pressure gradient, uh, even tighter. That really brings windy conditions to our area um, and all the way into San Diego County. It does favor San Diego County with a position of that high. Uh, the conditions are very dry already. Uh, even without the dry air. So fuel moistures are bone dry across our area. And we had a dry summer. Uh, so we did not see much relief from the summer. So dry conditions over the summer uh, have put us in the situation and no fall rainstorms. So we're looking at near record dry fuels. This is what we expect developing on Thursday, more northeast winds. So round two of Santa Ana winds on Thursday 
your blue shaded areas are where we're going to see gusts 40 to 55 miles per hour. 40 to 55 miles per hour. See how that cuts right through I-15 Cajon Pass and down to the 91 corridor. Also parts of the 10. And then again, um, we're seeing wind today. We're going to see that wind come right back Thursday for the I-8 corridor in San Diego County. Humidity will be single digit, single humidity, uh, digit humidity, very, very dry, critically dry on Thursday. Temperatures, um, despite a little relief on the coast on Wednesday, they go right back into the mid-90s on Thursday. Notice that the high deserts cool off because of that cooler Santa Ana wind that feeds into the deserts because that wind is blowing from desert to ocean. No sea breeze on Thursday. Uh, how about on Friday? I think that's the windiest day for some areas, Thursday night and Friday morning, especially for San Diego County, where the winds will be most widespread in the foothills east of the 15, and especially along the 8 corridor. I think we'll see some of our strongest wind gusts along the 10 corridor and Highway 60 up by Beaumont, uh, and then we'll see a continuation of winds across the Grapevine and the Cajon Pass, as shown here in the blue shade. Those wind-prone areas gusting to 40 to 55 miles per hour and the strongest winds touching up and around 65 miles per hour. Uh, what kind of sustained wind? Well, if you're getting a sustained wind of 25, you're probably going to see wind gusts of 50 to 55. So you can probably cut those winds in half and that's your persistent, constant wind. Um, even a little bit of gusty wind making it down into the I-15 corridor of San Diego County and the I-5-405 corridor of Orange County. Humidity will be driest. I didn't think we could get drier, but we will get drier on Friday. We'll start off dry from now through Thursday, but we're going to dry further. And part of that is because the temperatures are going to rise further on Friday, right back to hot conditions like we're seeing on Tuesday. So hot conditions in the upper 90s in our coastal communities on Friday. Speaking of, here's those numbers we're expecting the mid and upper 90s on Friday. And do expect those numbers here probably be to be a little bit too low. All right, uh, we transition into the weekend and we lose a lot of the wind, but it's going to remain very warm. And unfortunately, we're going to remain very dry even on Saturday with single digit humidity over most areas remaining even on Saturday, despite the winds decreasing. I think the winds will be hanging around Saturday morning uh, in San Diego County only for Saturday morning. And then we'll get a, a developing sea breeze Saturday afternoon or onshore flow. Here's the highlights for this Santa Ana wind. Uh, this is round number two. Santa Ana winds are decreasing today as I record this, but they're going to come right back Thursday morning. A fire weather watch will likely be upgraded to a red flag warning. Um, we're going to see a little bit of cooling on the coast Wednesday, but again, then we're going to warm right back, back up on Thursday and especially Friday. Uh, less wind on Wednesday, but the wind comes back again on Thursday. Another uh, Santa Ana wind, uh, really round two for Thursday, Friday, still on track. Call this a moderate wind. Green shade highlights the type of winds we're expecting. Uh, most areas that, that see the wind will have gusts 35 uh, to 50 miles per hour. The most wind prone areas like a home pass, possibly reaching in the Fremont Canyon as well on the Highway 91 corridor and the San Diego corridor where we could uh, on I-8 get gusts of 55 to 65. Single digit humidity for round two on Thursday and Friday lingering to Saturday. Decreasing wind for Saturday is the message then. Um, and then possible another Santa Ana wind uh, after a brief cooling um, and decrease of wind for the end of October. So critical fire weather conditions, critical fire weather conditions with round two of Santa Ana wind. All right, you can follow the weather at the link in the middle. Also look for updates on Twitter, Facebook. This is posted on YouTube. And here are some definitions. The red flag warning is the most urgent warning when it comes to fire conditions. That means wind speeds, low humidity, and dry fuel or dry vegetation are all being met over those areas. Please stay safe during these critical Santa Ana wind times.